Hello students, Pascal here, and welcome to the fourth video in the Pymel for Beginners series. Today we'll be taking a look at hydrogen bonds. So why don't we get started by launching our Pymel. And we'll be taking a look at the same protein that we've looked at so far. So in the command line or in the upper control panel, we'll type fetch space one RGS, enter. And we'll take a look at this also in cartoon form. So show space cartoon, enter. And then let's change the color to color space. And we'll change this to smudge, so a little bit duller color. Now this particular uh, protein has two ligands bound to it, the real cyclic AMP. So to see those, we'll head down to the sequence button, click on that and scroll to the end where we can see the two cyclic AMPs. Let's show these as sticks. So under selection, we'll go show and move down to sticks. And then we'll color these perhaps deep salmon, which is under the reds and we'll go down to deep salmon. Now let's just take a closer look at, we'll zoom in on one of them to just take a closer look at what's happening here. So we'll start off by taking a look at the hydrogen bonds amongst all of the residues in the protein, and then later we'll zoom in specifically on the hydrogen bonds related to our ligands. So to do this, we can go under our 1RGS, under action, and then scroll down to find, across to polar contacts, and then within selection. And all of these yellow dashed lines show us the hydrogen bonds in this protein. And some of them are um, from side chains or backbone, depending on where those particular hydrogen bonds are, they can be amongst different types of uh, atoms. So let's say we're only interested in the hydrogen bonds around this particular ligand. So let's delete the ones that we can see now. So under one RGS polar contacts, we'll go to action delete and that gets rid of all of them. And now we're just interested in the ones around this particular ligand. So we'll click on it here to select and then under action find polar contacts and we'll go down to other atoms in the object and this shows us the polar contacts uh, from this ligand to the protein again some of them are to backbone and some of them are to side chain of uh, the residues now perhaps we're only interested in very very strong hydrogen bonds we can change the distance that it will recognize hydrogen bonds to take a look only at those very strong hydrogen bonds. We can also change the distance so that it will look at even weaker hydrogen bonds, but let's start off by looking at the strong hydrogen bonds. To do that, we need to type. So we will type up here, set space H underscore bond underscore cut off un oops, underscore center comma space and let's say 3.0 angstroms will be our cutoff so 3.0 enter and then we need to delete the ones that we can see right now so we'll go to action delete and then we'll take a look at the ones that now have this new cutoff so we'll click again to the ligand and then under selection action find polar contacts to other atoms in the object. And we can see that we've lost one of our hydrogen bonds here because that was a weaker hydrogen bond and only these stronger ones are visible. We can also take a look at weaker hydrogen bonds by setting that hydrogen bond cutoff, for example, to 3.6 or 3.8, something like that, to look at things that maybe aren't strong hydrogen bonds but do have some types of interaction. So we can type those in, delete the hydrogen bonds we have here, and then repeat the whole process. So a nice short video on hydrogen bonds. That's all I have to show for you today. Uh, hopefully you'll join us for our next few videos. Bye-bye for now.